Race 8, the final race on the card, is a low-grade fillies and mares, 67 handicap over 1,200 metres. The last race, she offered 16.45. And Warren, to cut to the chase, these low-grade fillies and mares handicaps always have the potential of produ producing an upset result. But I'm happy that number 7, Arctic Princess, is in good form. I think she's still in the right division. She's obviously gone up in the weight. She carries 60 and a half. Stuart Randolph won well in the last time. She's won her only two starts that she's had for the Gary Rich stable. I like the fact that she runs at them in the closing stages, comes from off the pace. She needed to get a bit lucky last time. The gaps had to open at the right time. They did and she got through to win and to win well. She's got a beautiful pedigree. I have no reason to look for anything to beat her. The principal threat for me is number one, Casadoro. But uh, I'm quite strongly in the camp of number seven, Arctic Princess, to reel off a hat-trick. And I see no reason why she shouldn't achieve it. I've just made a note here, and we're going to take a little stable, a little uh, presenter's double, which is the two horses that uh, Mark Dixon's had the master to be. Two runs for Mark Dixon, two wins. Gary Rich has had Arctic Princess, two runs, two wins. We're going to go for them both to have the hat-trick. Arctic Princess, yes, why should we try and find something to beat her? Uh, she's going for the hat-trick. She's won her last two races beautifully. She's beaten Rachel, beaten Foxy Lady. Certainly is the firm first choice. But for quartet, swingers, exact as Graham, horses like Eight, Ums and Doozy, obvious respect. was a good first post maiden run. Royal View, consistent. Wendy Whitehead has her horses in a good place. And lovely to see Tinny Princeley in the winner's enclosure at Hollywood Bet Scottsville just the other day for Ron Harris. Here they've got Foxy Lady. Good run last time to Arctic Princess. I do believe that Foxy Lady will run second to Arctic Princess again, but that's just my assessment. It could be wrong. But like you, I like Arctic Princess, and uh, we're going to be talking to Gary Rich on the, on the line. I did see this filly at the yard yesterday. She's looking impeccable. Her work's been good. So all rooms facing the sea with her. Well, okay, there you've heard it. We're both in the camp of number seven, Arctic Princess. We may differ slightly as to what's likely to run second, third, and fourth for quartet purposes. My short list is number one, Casadoro, number nine, Royal View, and yes, number 11, Foxy Lady. There are others to consider naturally, but we're both in the camp of number seven, Arctic Princess. We don't see any reason why this daughter of Water Winter won't complete a course and distance hat-trick.